This is the New Zealand edition of Monopoly. On it are 22 properties that correspond to 22 real-life locations. This is Liam, and over the next seven days, he's going to attempt to visit all 20 currently visitable locations while following two rather ridiculous rules. Number one, at every new location, he will receive a randomly generated chance car. This could mean anything from gaining $100 Oh, yes! Yes! To having to do an impression of Dobby the house elf in front of a stranger. Master has given Dobby a sock! Number two. As per the official rules of Monopoly, he will start with $1,500. And if he goes bankrupt at any point, it's game over. With that out of the way, please sit back, relax, and join us for the rather intriguing tale of one man, a mad dash around the country, and a whole lot of public embarrassment. Master has given Dobby a sock! Chance card number one. In three, two, one. You may not leave the next property until you have made a stranger laugh. Does that look like it's going to be difficult? <laughs> so I think our best bet is going to be to fly as far down south as we can and then just work our way back up over the next week. I guess Milford Sound would be a good place to start. We can get pretty close with a flight to Queenstown for $76. That's actually really good. We, we should do that. In classic Liam fashion, my flight is boarding in one hour and I have not packed, I have not left to the airport. I might be screwed. Hey, mate. It's freezing, lad. It's freezing. This rental car was literally the only one available for under $300 and the only downside is it has to be back here in eight hours. Estimated drive time is three hours and 23 minutes, which means about seven hours total driving. I guess first things first. Woohoo! Five Rivers Cafe, let's do it, baby! Hi there, how you doing? Could I grab a BLT and then could I also grab a Long Black? I'm just waiting for my food to be cooked, but look at, oh my god, it's an alpaca. Are you serious? Oh my god, yes! Am I in heaven? Very nice to meet you. Do you, you can be in the video if you want. Do you want to? You can make an appearance. I've just made two new friends, Kimberly and Holly. They want to say hi to the vlog. Very nice to meet you. See you guys. I'm the king of the world! Didn't echo at all. We're getting extremely close to Milford Sound. I'm really excited because I don't actually know what a sound is. Is it a lake? Or a mountain? Or both? Ah! Milford Sound is literally right there, but it's blocked by trees. I'm about to go and see it for the very first time. Milford Sound in three, two, one. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh my God. It's beautiful. So as per the chance card, we cannot leave until we make someone laugh. So I'm hoping that my just general vibe is gonna get a couple laughs. How's it going? Yeah, Don't mind me, I'm dressed as the Monopoly man. <laughs> I'm visiting all the... Yes, until you pointed it out. <laughs> so it turns out, the guy who laughed at me was called Ben. Ben, thank you so much. You're a legend. We now need to draw our next chance card and then we need to freaking get going. Ask a stranger to film you eating raw broccoli at the next property. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so much. I literally made these up. I've spent so much money today that I'm hoping I can just sleep at the airport. Oh dear. 
think the airport's closed. Oh, it is. So, yes, the airport was abandoned, so I am now at a hotel beside the airport. It cost $200, and it was the cheapest one I could find. While, yes, I did blow half the budget on the first day to get to the first property, <laughs> on the bright side, there is a countdown supermarket literally right next door. I'm so overwhelmed, what do I buy? Something cheap, something healthy, or something really expensive and delicious? Five dollars for this whole cereal. Oh my god, yes. Crap, crap. <laughs> It'll have to do. You and you. <laughs> yes, I'm eating cereal out of a hotel mug for dinner. Sue me. <laughs> Actually don't, I've already blown half the budget. Well, how about that? One day down and Liam has accomplished basically nothing. Let's see how he fares on day two, shall we? Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to me in a top hat. So this morning I'm gonna catch a bus to Dunedin. I've got the ticket, it was $45. Thankfully, the bus stop is literally right beside my hotel. By the way, look how beautiful Queenstown is, apart from that bird crap on the window. <laughs> I spent way too long drinking my coffee and now I'm late. <laughs> Goodbye Queenstown, it's been fun. This bus stop is so much further than I expected. Oh God, the bus leaves in one minute. Liam? That's the one. The airport. Yes. Sweet. day another chariot my friends I had to do it I had to do it oh man it is much hotter in Dunedin than Queenstown in about six hours time there is a flight to Christchurch for $59 so the plan is we're going to absolutely gas it to the Moidaki boulders and Larnock Castle and then try and make it back in time for that flight first stop is to a supermarket to get a some food and B thank you very much sir <laughs> I am an idiot for so many reasons. First of all, I got these salads for lunch and I, I didn't get a fork. Second of all, I got a freaking broccoli salad. Why did I get, why did I do this? I thought I'd hype myself up and then I was like, hang on, I don't want to eat two heads of broccoli today. Two out of 20, baby, let's go! These are really wacky, dude. Like, perfectly circular, look at that. Wow. Nature, am I right? Apparently, if you damage these boulders, you get fined $300,000. That, that would make us bankrupt. <laughs> All right, I need to eat this broccoli before we can leave. Excuse me. Would you be able to just hold this? It's a really long story. I need to just eat this broccoli. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank sure. you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Raw broccoli at, at the Moidaki boulders. Oh. Oh, oh wow, it doesn't. It is really bad. Nice. I thought it would be manageable. That's you. Yeah. That's great. Oh, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Subscribe us. Oh. <laughs> this is my full time job, oh, believe God. it or not. <laughs> oh, it's very nice to meet you. What were your names, sorry? Eugene and Gabby. Eugene and Gabby. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. So that is mission success. I'm going to draw my next chance card and then we'll just editing magic our way to the next place. Take a picture with a stranger at the next property. In three, two, one. Lana Castle. <laughs> I don't know who to take a photo with because there's there's no one here. I'm going to do a lap of the castle and try and find someone. Wait, there's someone there. Excuse me. 
I'm doing this, I'm doing this challenge. Well, yeah. extra points you if it's two strange extra people. Extra points. <laughs> Is it strangers or strange people? Because we can cover both of those. <laughs> we can just pose. Um, Thumbs up. <laughs> What were, you, what were your names, sorry? Emma and Richard. Emma and yeah. Richard. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. Much appreciated. We gotta go, boys. We gotta go. <laughs> Oops, forgot to lock the car. Oh well. <laughs> you may not leave the next property until you have shares someone. Honestly, so far, we have actually been pretty damn lucky with the chance cards. Some of them are so embarrassing. Master has... Some of them are also just straight up devastating. Like, I think one is lose $200. Do we even have $200 left? Goodbye, sweet cherries. I gotta go. Christchurch Airport, baby. <laughs> I have some absolutely insane game-changing news that you are not going to believe. So you know how yesterday we paid like $300 for a rental car and then today we paid like $100 for a rental car? So sometimes rental companies really need cars to go from one airport to another and so they make it really cheap to rent so that you'll do that. I found a rental car, this is not a joke, that needs to go from Christchurch all the way up to Auckland for a grand total of $1 per day. I am dead serious. And it's a freaking Audi. It's right here. This is it. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. This car is so nice, bro. Are you serious? This is a game changer because not only do I now have a place to sleep, for one dollar. They've also given me an entire tank of fuel for free, a ferry ticket over to the North Island, and I actually have somewhere to leave all my crap now. How is this real? I swear this is real. I promise. Woohoo! Purr, baby, purr! And that, my friends, is the rather happy ending to a rather abysmal start to the challenge. To celebrate, Liam met up with a friend and sang his heart out at a karaoke night before heading back to his one dollar Audi for some much needed shut eye. Do join us for the next episode where Liam attempts to tackle the rest of the South Island and, uh, let's just say, finds himself in a bit of a pickle. That is a nice boulder. <laughs> yes, yeah, Shrek reference.